hello good morning my dear friends um, today i again brought 20 important questions for your entrance examinations um let's let us begin with the questions our uh, first question is principle of hydrogen bomb is based on options are nuclear fusion nuclear fission radioactive disintegration and none of these and we know that in hydrogen bomb uh, two hydrogen atom fuses to give a heavy atom and fusion because of the hydrogen fusion the enormous amount of energy is released energy is released that means bomb and the fusion process means nuclear fusion because of the nuclear fusion hydrogen uh, because of the nuclear fusion in hydrogen bomb energy is released because of that the principle of hydrogen bomb is nuclear fusion and the atomic bomb in atomic bomb lighter nuclei or lighter atoms fuses to give a heavy atom because of that the energy is released because of this the uh, process or principle of the atomic bomb is known as nuclear fission uh, and the question number three is which one is correct statement hydrogen bomb is dangerous than atomic bomb atomic bomb is dangerous than hydrogen bomb both bomb are equal dangerous both bomb is sorry hydrogen bomb is result of nuclear fission uh, in this statement the only the correct statement is for the first one hydrogen bomb is dangerous than uh, atomic bomb because large amount of energy is released from the hydrogen bomb and from uh, atomic bomb also energy is released but the, in hydrogen bomb the amount of energy release is more than that of the atom bomb uh, some facts about the uh, atom bomb and hydrogen bomb hydrogen bomb is more powerful uh, in hiroshima and nagasaki of japan in 1945 ad during second world war atomic bomb was used atom bomb was used till the date no hydrogen bomb is used in war hydrogen bomb requires high temperature for this initiation uh, in a fission heavy atom splits into lighter atoms and in fusion lighter atom fuses to give the heavy atoms they are equal opposite phenomenon uh, what is the velocity of sound in air we have velocity of sound in air is uh, 332 meter per second but it depends on your questions in some questions you can see 330 as well as 340 or three, uh, 400 as well uh, after doing um, uh, after rounding the 332 you can get sometime 330 sometime 340 uh, so if in this type of option our answer is 332 meter per second uh, what is the value of uh, velocity of light we all know that velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so our option a is correct choice uh, option c uh, sorry question number six in which sound travel faster sound always travel faster in medium solid so uh, 6a a is the correct answer in solid sound travel fasters uh, what is the value of power of a lens having focal length 50 centimeter we all know that power of a lens is converging or diverging capacity of a uh, lens and its mathematical expression is p is equal to 1 by f and f should be measured in in in, in si unit that si unit is a meter our focal length is given in 50 centimeter at first we need to convert this focal length into meter 50 divided by 100 that will give you 0 0.5 meter and power is equal to 1 by f that is 1 by 0 0.5 will give you give us 2 that is 2 diopter is our correct answer uh, so answer choice uh, c is our correct answer question number 8 who gave the law of gravitation law of gravitation was given by sir isaac newton and then uh, among these which one is correct value of g uh, correct value of g is, is, is 6.67 uh, into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square is correct uh, value of g uh, in other uh, options uh, unit is not correct and in option number c the value is not correct so you need to take care of unit as well who discovered the value of universal gravitational constant universal gravitational constant uh, the value of universal gravitational constant was given by henry cavendish uh, sir isaac newton gave the uh, formula f is equal to g m1 m2 a d square later on henry cavendish work on the value of capital g and he gave the value of capital g henry cavendish he also discovered the value of he also discovered the hydrogen gas henry cavendish question number 11 intensity of light is measured in intensity of uh, sound should be there in fact intensity of sound is measured in decibel decibel hours is uh, unit of uh, frequency and newton per meter square is unit of power diopter is unit of power of a lens uh, question number 12 working of optical fiber is based on which phenomenon working of optical fiber fiber is based on total internal reflection total internal reflection refraction reflection and scattering are wrong choices so our option is a 
in Nepal, National Science Day is celebrated in in Nepal, National Science Day is celebrated in Osho's first. Osho's first is a National uh, Science Day. Among these scientists, who does not won Nobel Prize? Uh, it was Sir Isaac Newton. Albert Einstein won Nobel Prize in E is equal to mc square. William Conrad won Nobel Prize in the discovery of um, Yax rays. And Madame Curie won uh, in the sector of physics as well as chemistry. In uh, uh, for the discovery of radium, uh, she won the Nobel Prize. Uh, Nobel Prize was started uh, in uh, 1901, uh, and then Sir Isaac Newton died in uh, 1727. Uh, so Sir Isaac Newton did not receive the Nobel Prize. Uh, myopia is also known as uh, uh, myopia is also known as short sightedness, uh, and the hypermetropia is also known as long sightedness. See, hypermetropia is very long. The term is very long. It contains more words. Because of that, we can relate with long sightedness. And 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 myopia is it has short terms, few terms. Only six words are there. Because of that, we can say that it is short sightedness. And short sightedness is or myopia is defect of vision. In which person can see the near object short sighted means near object short object is sighted but it is difficult to see the long object or far object so in uh, uh, hypermetropia uh, person can see the distance object that is long long thing or distance uh, at a uh, the object at a long distance is sighted but problem is to sight or to see the short uh, or near objects to cure myopia we use to cure myopia, we use concave lens, and to cure hypermetropia, we use convex lens. Let us see this picture. Uh, short sightedness or near sightedness is cured by concave lens, and long sightedness or far sightedness is or hypermetropia is cured by the convex lens. These are the shape of concave and convex lens. Uh, in transformer, we use options are only AC, only DC, both AC and DC, neither AC nor DC. As we know that transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction in electromagnetic induction the flux should always change and the change in flux is always given by the ac so in transformer we use ac in electrolysis we use in electrolysis we we need only the uh, anode and cathode that should be fixed throughout the experiment so if you use ac anode and cathode polarity changes continuously polarity changes so anode and cathode also changes but we should um, use DC because DC gives the same polarity always throughout the experiment so in electrolysis we use only DC and in transformer we use only AC thank you very much for your attention uh, I'll I'll bring other uh, two or three uh, different uh, question sets for the physics and then I'll start chemistry all the best for your upcoming examination thank you very much